So something that often comes up when I'm working my, with my clients in therapy is um, the topic of racing thoughts and the topic of, you know, anxious thoughts and, you know, when something that someone is wor worrying about comes up and then they can't stop thinking about it and they notice themselves getting more anxious, kind of knotted feeling in their stomach, tightness in their chest, and their brains are racing and going around and around in circles. and. Uh, it's an uncomfortable feeling and obviously a really unpleasant experience and I think all of us have experienced something like that uh, from time to time, some of us more often than others. Um, and something that can be really helpful when something like that comes up depending on the situation is something called mindfulness. Um, now I'm sure most of you have heard of mindfulness, it's kind of the big thing right now and it's kind of just a fancy way of saying uh, concentration or uh, focusing. So mindfulness is just sort of a, yeah, another way of talking about, you know, the honing the, the talent of being able to concentrate or really focus on something. So something for you to try. Uh, next time you notice yourself feeling really anxious, really worked up, um, head is spinning, can't stop thinking, can't kind of calm yourself down. First of all, start with taking a really deep breath oxygen in our brains can sometimes do wonders, often do wonders, uh, and sometimes do miracles. But taking a really deep breath and then uh, thinking about the thing that you're feeling anxious about and then it, concentrating on something else. Now something, you know, when, when, we, when we get really anxious and we notice ourselves getting really worked up, we're thinking about oftentimes how things are going to be really terrible, we're anticipating something turning out badly, we're anticipating something, you know, frustrating happening, or we're feeling bad about ourselves or our situation. So the antidote to that is to practice focusing on something that makes you feel good. Uh, focus on and think about what you're grateful for. Something small. It can be as simple as, you know, having a warm, soft bed to jump into that night, or thinking about someone that you love, or someone that makes you feel loved, or uh, a place that you go on vacation, or, you know, for a little break, somewhere that you go that is your happy place or somewhere that you really enjoy that brings up a really uh, strong sense of well-being and happiness and calmness and to just focus on that um, and think about that and think about in detail uh, one of those kind of positive things and I'm not saying it's going to make the problem that you're dealing with go away but what it does is it gives our brain a little bit of a break and you know there's a lot of brain research and brain science right now that is talking about how the things that we focus on and the things that we think about and the experiences we give ourselves that is what our brain kind of molds to um, and there's this little saying that goes neurons that fire together wire together so the things that we actively uh, think about and focus on those are the neurons that are firing and the more uh, for better or worse so the more negative stuff we think about and focus on the more kind of uh, wiring of our brain it becomes sort of anxious and, and negative and depressed but if we can start to practice um, catching ourselves in those spinning thoughts and turning them around and getting you know positive or or calming or happy or enjoyable kind of neurons firing then that's what kind of starts to wire together and eventually you know will change dramatically the makeup of our brain uh, but in the short term, it will give you um, kind of a, a break from the worry and, and a sense of calm and maybe even a little bit of, of a perspective shift. Uh, so you can kind of take a step back and, and get some air in the midst of, of all the worrying. Thanks.